One step for mankind, a good step for Colombia. For Colombia, that's yeah. what we say. Yeah, yeah. No, no, those coats are so warm that have that mm -hmm. inside oh, of them. Stuff we have yeah. really used to keep the heat in. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know that we need a coat that warm right now. It doesn't seem that cold outside. No, at least in the city, but if you're talking about the mountains, mm -hmm. completely different story. Look at the whiteout conditions Oof. that we're currently seeing. Yeah. Okay, I take back what I said. <laughs> yeah, you, you want that jacket now? Yes, <laughs> Never now mind. I do. Never yes. mind, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You definitely want to stay warm as our temperatures are still hovering in the 20s. That's what we like to see up at our ski resorts. A pretty picture there. A much different picture, though. So you go ahead, take off the Columbia jacket here at 49 degrees. Out towards the seaside areas, the cloud coverage remains. And still seeing a few on-again, off-again rain showers as we work our way through the rest of this evening. A live look at the low-hanging clouds, but just rain coming down over Portland after that early morning snow scare just fizzled away as our temperatures remained in towards the upper 30s, low 40s. And that's exactly where we're sitting right now with the winds out of the east, southeast at about 13 miles per hour. Showers past forecast that's going to keep us in the low 40s for the remainder of this evening. You got the green bikes to go as those on again off again rain showers will likely stay persistent throughout the evening and through the overnight hours as our temperatures here across the metro area hovering in towards the upper 30s, low 40s, slightly on the cooler side. Once you get to the mouth of the Columbia River Gorge, the Washougal area hovering in towards the mid 30s, but that's about as cold as we're getting. So even with some of those easterly winds, not expecting our temperatures to drop significantly here in the Portland area. Drought they'll see a wind gust at about 30 miles per hour. Still expecting to see those strong easterly winds take us through the overnight into the start of the day tomorrow. That's where some of our wind gusts could near about 30 to 35, if not even closer to 40 miles per hour. So the rain continues to find its way down to the ground for parts of the Willamette Valley. You'll notice the blue, the snowfall, heavy at times, still falling over the high terrain, the Cascades. That's why the National Weather Service keeping a winter storm warning in effect just east of the mountains. That's where we could see an additional two to four inches, but we're talking about almost a foot of additional snow over the mountains, at least through about four o'clock tomorrow morning. Now it's been a nice drink of water for us here in the northern Willamette Valley over the past several hours since midnight, picking up about a quarter of an inch to a half inch around the Portland metro area. Troutdale at that half inch mark with about a tenth of an inch found out along the coastline. So here it is all stamped out for you with the future cast, expecting those easterly winds to remain with a little bit of a pull from the south. That's going to help to keep those temperatures on the mild side and just keep rain falling over our heads as we only fall back into the upper 30s at best for tonight. Waking up tomorrow morning will slowly start to dry things back out once again across the northern Willamette Valley along the coast and the Cascades seeing the end of the snowfalls. We're just left with the cloudy skies for much of the day on Friday and then into Saturday seeing much of the same. As our rain accumulation through about Saturday evening nears about a quarter of an inch for the Portland area. Greater amounts the further south you go. Eugene could almost see about three quarters of an inch. Much of the same for the central coastal spots. But we're still talking about a good snow event for us. Moving into Saturday, Mount Hood itself seeing maybe up to 18 to 24 inches. That's about two feet of snow. So impactful for the road conditions over those high mountain passes. Seven day forecast. We've removed all of those coin six weather alerts, but still breathing easy out there for tomorrow is our daytime high sits below the average of about 45 seem 46 for the following day on Saturday. But look, the second half of the weekend into the low 50s and gradually warming up and drying things out as we work our way into the middle and the end of next week. That will be a nice change of pace as we approach 60 degrees. Remember the first day of meteorological spring that's going to be March 1st, mm -hmm. but it officially starts astronomical spring on March 19th. So we're coming down to the wire of winter. Yeah, and next Thursday is some date. I don't know. It's closer it's to Thursday. March. So yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Closer to March each Whatever. day. Whatever. It's closer to March. <laughs> someday. Someday. Well, yeah. well, okay. Coming up, a new episode of So Help Me Todd tonight with a very special Coin Six News Connection. Yeah, wait till you hear about this. And health